guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me here today vlogmas day six i did miss an upload yesterday only because um we were out of town and by the time i came back edited um uploaded it would have been past midnight so i think i'm going to recover oops sorry i think i'm going to recover that one day um during the weekend yeah um, today's video is a q and I put out a post on Instagram asking you guys to ask me literally anything. The questions are mostly Ben related. I did ask him to jump on this q and but he said no. He's going to come in on the other one. So I'm going to try and answer the questions as honest as possible, as quick as possible because you know q and can be super long. And then you just need to grab your cup of coffee it's pretty cold right now that's why i'm drinking or whatever fancies your mood depending on what time you're watching this whatever you're craving grab whatever it is and let's get straight into the questions so i have tried to segment the questions into relationship uh, personal career personal development career and there were a couple of questions on travel a lot of them were relationship <laughs> i asked uh let's just see how this goes so the first question is how did we meet i'm going to do relationship first how did we meet we met in church at a local church here in nairobi in 2010 2011 i'm not really sure um what keeps you going in terms of the relationship i keep on saying it's because our basis is purely friendship we've built a relationship over time and those years that we built and we worked on our friendship i think is what translates to what you guys see the chemistry you guys see today and the um, the relationship that we enjoy i think it's purely on those years of friendship that we spend so much time cultivating um the next question is how do i manage expectations this is something i do struggle with if i'm being completely honest and i think what i've learned is to let in our relationship I'll speak on that for a bit is um, I struggle with especially expectations when it comes to love language because Ben expresses his love totally different from how I would want to be shown love so I find I put unnecessary pressure on him which in turn frustrates him and um, so I've learned to just lower not really lower the expectations but just let him let him show me as he wishes and i've learned to appreciate the way that he shows me love it may not be ex necessarily what i expect but just because he does it the way he knows how doesn't mean he doesn't love me so we found a compromise in there i hope that makes sense i hope that answers your question and i hope it comes out the way i'm thinking it um just a comment i love you guys give us more thank you we will we will 2019 um our last argument wow some of these questions are very i don't know intrusive <laughs> but um the last I, again because we're such good friends uh we really cannot stay how do i put this like even though we're mad at each other it doesn't last like it doesn't go past a day i don't think we've been mad at each other for those years that we've dated i don't think we've been mad at each other past a day so the last argument that i can vividly remember plus because of the good friendship it's really hard to to remember like because we fight and then we instantly someone just sends you a meme or a joke and everything is lost so the last argument that i can vividly remember is um immediately i came back from south africa i think that same day um how do we sustain our relationship i think that we have shared values more or less in terms of spirituality um what we believe in our morals we have so that makes it easier to find compromises to understand each other to sacrifice and all that stuff and then also again i'll reiterate there's such a beauty in dating one of your best friends so i think as i said before the the chemistry that you guys enjoy when we do our videos and the relationship that we enjoy has been years of friendship in the making so i think how we're able to sustain the relationship uh, the foundation that we built when we were just friends um, the, How we developed respect for each other how we treat each other Those years of friendship really really made the difference And I think that's how we're able to sustain the friendship the relationship rather because of those years of friendship that we built mm, Are you ever planning to get married this question was asked 
a lot of times there's even one person who asks is it true ben wants to propose i don't know i don't know you tell me <laughs> but um what i'll say about marriage is that we actively do talk about marriage uh and more importantly marriage to each other <laughs> not just marriage in general or just marriage to other marriage to other people but just marriage to each other we have talked about the time frame um that means when we would want it to happen we what else we're very intentional in working towards that but most importantly is that we're very very keen on committing those plans to god because then he fulfills the desires of our hearts so in as much as we make all these plans all this dreaming fantasies you guys make plans for us uh we're very careful and very intentional in committing those plans to god so that when the time is right or when his will is ready to be fulfilled everything will just uh flow into place um how long have you guys been together we've been together for three years mm -hmm. three years but friends for um 2010 2011 we're in 2018 three of those are dating so friends for five years that's a long time yeah um not a question but we need ben in all your vlogs oh <laughs> i'm sure he wants to be in all those vlogs too um do you live with ben this was also another frequent question uh, do we live with ben i think another uh, one question was even like how was it <laughs> like how was the moving experience i don't know who the moving in experience with ben. i don't know where you guys got the notion that we live together but we do not but we do live in the same locality i think we're people who as i said before that we should have shared values shared morals and all that stuff um and we we would like to get married first before we we move in together and i know some people prefer to cohabitate cohabitate yeah i think that's what i said and i the idea i love the idea but i think um for us nothing wrong if you choose that path um i think it's it's very very convenient I, if it were up to me i think we'd go with that path but we we both value marriage and so we would like to get married first before we live together i hope that makes sense um let me see another question about um so we do not live together though we do live in the same locality i, I don't know if i mentioned that so he's literally or i'm literally like five minutes ten minutes away from him ten minutes if you're walking five minutes if you're driving um Whoa, there was another relation how do you know that the man is the one and i think there was another one like how did you know that ben is the one you know it, I've, I've asked ben this question if i'm being completely honest like how did he know i'm the one and he was and he he made he was like i i've never known you're the one um i think i just made a conscious decision to love you and i chose you so every day i just wake up um choosing you so about uh, he i think his exact words because he told me years ago is like you don't uh, he doesn't believe which i think i've i thought about it and i thought that's a very very profound statement and he said he doesn't feel like there's the one really like you know the one 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 i think it's someone you choose and you choose to love them and you choose to love them wholeheartedly and you make the one for yourself out of that person that you've chosen to love and so i think how do you know that the man is the one i don't honestly think there's a concept as the one i think you choose somebody and you choose to love them with all their flaws their mistakes uh, i think the concept of the one to me screams perfection and i don't believe in perfection but those are just my opinions uh so i how you know that the man is the one i think it's a conscious decision you make you have chosen to love this person so you love them with all their flaws their mistakes you've chosen you've decided to love this woman to spend your life with this woman i think you then you make the one out of the person that you love and you make the one out of love out of forgiveness and all those good things the um you hear about love um I think all the questions about Ben were very re repetitive so I just tried and answered I just tried and answered everything as it was asked but questions kept on repeating um, themselves let's do a little bit of personal and career and 
um all that stuff how old are you i am 25 years old i feel like that's old um which school which high school primary school and uni did you go to well let's start with primary school i did move primary schools a lot um and the move was necessitated by the fact that we changed um locations yani where we used to live so sorry i consider my primary school the school that i finished um my kcp so that was green garden school in kikuyu green garden primary school in kikuyu a uh, high school i went to saint Anne secondary school Lioki. and university i went to kenyatta university and i did a degree in economics and finance that was my undergrad um do you have a nine to five job i do in communications and customer relationships uh customer relations sorry um um this is just comments i love your style i love your channel thank you so much your support keeps me going i love you guys i love you um wait there was another one um i love the way this was also a comment i love the way you style your outfits thank you so much i love i love spending time studying um outfits and i spend most of my time on pinterest just looking at style and i think that um begs another question that people ask what influences my style i don't really have a specific person that influences my style i'm a big fan of street style big fan of street style i'm always on pinterest i'm trying to recruit everyone to just do street style i'm not the biggest wearer like i'm not the biggest wearer of street style but it fascinates the heck out of me so i think street style influences a lot of my fashion style um wait how what motivated you to start a channel and what inspires your sense of style i think i've answered that one on sense of style what is motivated you to start a channel um i think it's my love for style and my love for clothes my love for fashion and i was just looking for an avenue to express that and i wasn't really good with at the time i remember blogs were very big but i wasn't really good with writing and also posing for pictures i'm not a big fan so i think the if you look at my instagram it's usually one pose one pose it's always either this or hands in my pocket <laughs> but yeah so and then videos i like motion i like um watching videos so i thought that was the best avenue for me to express my sense of style um another one was did you need a do you did you start i think another question or was did you need a camera or did you have a camera when you started vlogging and the answer is absolutely heck no i started using a samsung s3 and then i used bernard's phone at some point and then i got my camera way later videos videos later um till now i don't have heavy equipment like lighting and all that stuff you acquire equipment as you go and the most important thing is you start because you learn on the job i think a lot of vlogging and youtubing is learned on the job so you have to start for you to learn everything else that you need to learn um another question was what are your fears i think the fear that has been gripping me of late is the fear of failure i have been having that a lot a lot a lot so like and it's so daunting and it makes you not for me it's the kind of fear that holds me back that causes it's not you know there's fear that pushes you to do something like you really fear not succeeding so you do extra but for me that fear causes me not to do because there's so many videos i haven't uploaded because i fear um they will not do as well or all that stuff like it's just the fear of failure makes me want to shit on my pants um what else what other question was there um where do you see yourself in the next 10 years of course um doing a lot of things but one thing that i can vividly see in 10 years or even in the near future is a clothing line that's for sure i may not see my 10 years uh vision so clearly but i can see a clothing line there and probably even sooner um advice to someone who wants to start blogging is start i know it's so cliche people say it all the time but start start freaking start because as i said you learn on the job and i think with blogging and vlogging one thing i've learned is you literally learn on the job you learn on the job so you have to start for you to learn 
oh yeah another advice is is be consistent if there's anything vlogmas has taught me is that there's a reward and i was telling ben this last night is that there's a reward in consistency so my advice is start and also be consistent there is a reward in consistency um i think again questions were very repetitive i think this one was really funny how is it having malaria for a sister <laughs> um she's just a meme sender like if Wawira is your bestie, like you will get lots of funny memes. So that's how it is having Wawira for a sister. Memes, memes, memes. And we love sending each other memes. So yeah. Um, but other than that, of course, in line, I think you're asking in line to what she's doing and the work she's doing at Food for Education. Of course, we're absolutely proud of her. We never knew it could become this big. I think even her, she's the work ahead seems daunting because I know she has pretty big goals, but I know she can ace it. She was made for it. Um, I think there were questions on traveling. Do you sponsor yourself while traveling? Um, that was one question. Do you sponsor yourself while traveling? Um, there was another question. How are you able to travel so frequently? And how do you plan your trips and funding without going broke? So I'll answer all those questions collectively. This year I've been blessed to travel to the US and South Africa. I think those are the ones. Yeah. So in America, the US that was a self-sponsored trip um, South Africa was because my sister was receiving the global youth prize it was a self-sponsored trip for her and one extra person and you best be sure because Beyonce was there I fought for that ticket I fought for that I fought my family for that spot so <laughs> it was that global citizen uh, trip was self-sponsored in terms of accommodation um, flight and transport while we were in South Africa was sponsored by the Global Citizen. Um, US was fully self-sponsored. Um, I knew we traveled in September and I knew about the trip in February. So that ties to, my quest to the question of how do you plan your trips and funding without going broke? My most important tip is plan early. I will link um, a website that I use to choose my flights. Uh, we use Kayak. And so, as I said, we knew of the trip in February and we were meant to travel in September. So that gave us like so many months, not really many months, because we were still trying to figure everything out. But it gave us a good amount of time to plan in terms of savings, uh, in terms of knowing how much it will take, getting your visas early, because visas also determine on whether you can buy your tickets. And so you need to buy your ticket uh, like what am I saying? Let me explain it properly. Let me explain the US trip was self-sponsored how I did it So that even you guys can have an idea of when you're planning and how you can do it economically So as I said the trip was meant to be in September. We the trip was necessitated by Beyonce Right, so this is what we did. We knew Beyonce was going to Santa Clara in September. My sister was going to be in Santa Clara for work so we decided that I'm just gonna uh, I can meet we can meet in the US and attend the concert it's gonna be a fun fun times right so in February when the tickets I think February or early March when the tickets went on sale for on the run tour we bought them immediately a little dumb because I didn't even have my visa she had her visa she had a five-year visa but I didn't have my visa but in faith so we bought we bought the Beyonce tickets in Feb right and the trip was in september so the tickets were like 140 dollars 14 130 140 i'm not really sure and then so i started doing my visa application early so that i can do my tickets early right because i remember by the time like i was already checking for my tickets they were around 90 something and it was british airways which is a relatively good airline um, I really didn't mind it so it was 90 something which is pretty which is a pretty good price for um, going to the US so I did end up paying that 90 something uh, 100k for the tickets and for the flight tickets and then now accommodation in Seattle we were staying at a family friends place so we didn't have to worry about accommodation in Seattle and then now in New York we of course booked in Santa Clara and New York we booked an Airbnb sorry we booked an Airbnb so I think the trick to planning your trips 
is you plan early because when you plan early everything becomes cheaper than when you're trying to plan things the day of and even when you plan early it gives you enough time to plan um your finances and you don't have to break the bank like the last minute because now like i know um next year there's a there's a destination that i want to visit god willing please god hear my prayers um god willing there's a destination that i want to visit so right now is when i need to now get my ducks in a row so planning 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 i will leave this site for where we used to book our flights really really cheap um, I compared it with all other websites that I know of and it was the cheapest um, according to me. It's called Kayak. I'll just give it in the description box. So the trip to planning your trips early is the trick to um, traveling without breaking the bank is to plan early. And also travel like a local. Ah, yes, yes. I don't know why I forgot this tip. Travel like a local. Because there are, of course, um, there are some areas where you need to use an Uber. But most of the time, we were using a bus. In New York... Uh, we were using subway the whole time like like if it's a place that you can walk let me tell you you will walk i remember there's a day in new york we walked for 35 kilometers total the whole day my our feet were burning 35 kilometers the whole day but you know what i couldn't have said uber all the time there's no like we didn't well they we don't want if you don't have to spend you don't have to spend you travel if most people there are walking using the bus or something like that that's what um we use airbnb of course uh, very it's cheaper in terms of accommodation as opposed to a hotel so that's what we use and i think those were all the questions again most questions were repetitive so i just segmented them and i answered them collectively i hope you enjoyed this q a if there's a question of yours i did not answer please leave it in the comment section and i will thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys um tomorrow Bye.